for you guys specifically, how did it, how has it trickled down into what you're doing from a marketing perspective? Like what, maybe if we can illustrate it in like what changed from before to after, like maybe the types of things you're doing. Yeah, it's a great question. And it's, it's good timing because we're in the midst of making a lot of these changes right now, Mike. So, um, you know, last year we had a lot of the foundational work in place. We had our problem defined. We had this language around human centered communication and, um, we, we knew what this meant at a, at a foundational level. And, and this year we've really started to think about how to apply this in a more tactical sense. So I'll just pick, um, maybe two, two things to go into. One is our, as our content strategy and, um, prior to this exercise, our content efforts were very, um, tactically focused. They were we did a lot of SEO um, type of work, top of the funnel type of content that was informative. It was a lot of like, you know, how to content around communicating over video or just communicating in the sales context. And there's still a need for that, that content, but we also have um, a lens. We have a point of view. We have an opinion that we can share about the world around how we think digital communication should take place. And, that is is taking the form of um, thought leadership content. It's taking the form of um, more tactical content on how you actually be human centered as a company. Um, so just one specific example, right now we're doing an experiment with our marketing team where um, when when leads come in um, for opportunities that are on this, the smaller end of things, um, our marketing team is actually sending personal videos uh, to these to these leads. We don't know how it's going to affect the conversion rate. We don't know what the ROI is going to be, but we have this hunch that treating um, even someone who's just going to pay for a you know thirty or forty dollar a month account, treating them in a in a one to one way where they get attention and um, uh, you know focus that they wouldn't get otherwise, we feel like that's a human centered thing to at least try. Again, we don't know how it's going to work out, but it's an experiment we're running. And, and we're gonna be able to turn that into content about you know, one approach to human-centered communication that this company, it happens to be ours, is, is exploring. Um, so that's on, on a very kind of you know, small scale. At the same time, we're also working on some really big projects that are designed to bring uh, human-centered communication and digital pollution to, to life. So if you've read of that category design, you'll, you'll know these are called lightning strikes. They're kind of like marketing campaigns on steroids. So we, we've been working on a book called Human Centered Communication, where we have 11 other experts um, on different you know, fields of business um, to, to kind of help us bring this to life and show what it means in, in practice. That's gonna come out in October on Fast Company Press. Um, and then we're working on a film series right now. It's a, it's a four part, five part series that explores um, the very concepts we've talked about, You know how, what is the state of communication today? Why is it so hard for a salesperson to um, just get in touch? Or even after they've built that relationship, why do they get ghosted so often? And what's the what's the experience for the person on the other end, the executive who's being sold to? Why, you know, what's keeping them from disconnecting with other people? And what does this digital pollution do to our brains? And um, what's the real ramification of this problem? And what's the way forward? So we've hired a film production company to help produce this for us. And, we're in the middle of, of bringing in some uh, participants to to, uh, to kind of document in this film series. So it's a it's a big campaign uh, for us, and uh, we're gonna it's gonna affect a lot of our marketing motions and even some of our sales motions uh, later in the year. Mm -hmm.